many, many, many LGBTQIA characters in our stories. We no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. They've been really open to exploring queer stories. Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's, in the background, this are, like I was just, wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to like- the There's a mother of, of two queer children, actually. All of our like gender non-conforming characters are in the background. One transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. Narratives in which Gay characters. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like I, I feel like I felt like it was I mean like Hello beta testers. <laughs> I have great news. Hollywood, Netflix, Amazon, and other entities have begun hiring AI specialists and firing the people who've been ruining media for over the last decade. Oh, that's a woman. With pointless race swaps and gender swaps and good old bait and switches to trick you out of your hard earned money. <laughs> now, many of their projects have been placed on hold indefinitely. And if this is your reaction to that information, please like the video. So, the woke feminist SJW journalists and activists, undercover of course, who lived on Twitter, Tumblr, and LiveJournal back when those were a thing, have been allowed to fail upwards and assassinate properties and brands. They them put a target on themselves by appealing to an unprofitable percentage of Twitter losers and that was then, and this is now. Clown writers paid thousands a week to write garbage like She-Hulk are literally boo-hooing to us? Uh, after all of this? Strikers, we're bigger people than you, uh, the bigger man, if you will. So we wish you the best, but we don't care. If it means anything, Netflix, Amazon, Disney, they don't care about you either, and you've aided them in their enslavement. So think about what you've done as you sit in the shade in the sidewalk while people die from heat stroke out here working to put food on the table to support their loved ones and hopefully establish a smile on their faces for another day. Biaku as, for over a decade, you've deliberately inspired frowns on the faces of fans and eager consumers who would gladly have filled your parks, bought your merch, and filled your wallets if you'd stop trying to force Kamala Khan in front of everything. Idiot. So when Favreau throws Kennedy under the bus saying of course she was fighting against a no-brainer like including Luke Skywalker, we believe it. What I'm in love with is that this didn't take a coordinated beer strike to bring about change. You and I, listener, are brother and sister. And race and gender has nothing to do with it. In the high school lunchroom of life, we aren't the ones deciding who belongs at what table. That's them. They. Them. And to the terminally woke, you made your choice. The revolution will not be televised. So now, Disney leading the woke charge with flop after flop at the box office with movies costing way too much and not making enough, have found themselves in what to us is a miracle of a situation. These movies were pretty bad, but Indiana Jones and the Big Face Lady really seems like something nobody wanted. Another barf bag filled with feminism. Get fired, Phoebe Waller Bridge. Can't you hear them? The Twitter losers telling me to touch grass? <laughs> it's fun because they think that they can decide what's iconic. No. History decides that, prophets decide that, and we've damn near forgotten this Indiana Jones trash that most of us did not go see. But I think there's some undercover badasses because the trailer itself warned us with terrible lines like Phoebe Waller Bridges, What? Resourceful? Daring? Beautiful? Self-sufficient? Referring to herself, of course, and what baffles us is that in a real put glasses on just to take them off dramatically kind of way, you're that stupid that you didn't realize that this clunky, inorganic cringe would turn people off? You're so out of touch you don't realize people, not the magical creature choir that you're preaching to, but people, the actual people that you need the money of, are sick 
of identity politics and this black rock larry forcing of high esg dog shit is a lesson that we want you to learn as hard as possible and for as long as possible where it counts the most your wallet we hope this strike never ends petty we learned it from watching you blame the lack of entertainment because boy does it feel like I gotta grab hold of this show and never let go? Barbie, at the very least, understood to hide its feminist agenda and do damage control when the actors open their stupid little mouth, getting in the way of their own payday, and appear purely fun on the surface. If they threw any of those lectures into the trailer, it would certainly have telegraphed what was going on in that movie. But Indiana Jones and was it called Ruffles Papers, The Dial of Destiny will not be remembered. It'll be forgotten. So long, gay Bowser. You truly were another movie with a man's character in the title that they tried to make about some irrelevant and unlikable ugly woman. And no, that's not an insult when woke casting directors come forward admitting that they are specifically casting whom they feel are ugly to quote challenge beauty standards because to you people audiences are all uneducated and need to be reprogrammed to override their unconscious bias bitch we will not be watching even in the movies that no one went to see like shang chi and eternals the men were emasculated or made the villain whatever the magical creatures on staff needed to make their sorry steven universe loving asses happy ghostbuster but lady terminator but lady men in black but lady doctor who but lady star wars but lady you try to mock the nerds for calling you out on your mc you cringe but they were right Loki, but Lady, Hawkeye, but Lady, Thor, but Lady, Doctor Strange, no, Lady Chavez. Blade movie can't even get made because y'all want to make it about Blade's daughter. Oh my god. So then you learn that we aren't watching that, so you bait and switch. You took the man's name and then He-Man bait and switch. Obi-Wan bait and switch. Willow bait and switch. What if Lady Kiss? What if me am pronoun? And I respect you enough, listener, not to keep you here all day listing the race swaps. Thank God, Maharshala. Ali had enough sense and blade in him to smell the bullshit off of this and reject it. People like when things are what they say they are. I don't buy Marvel's Avengers to get Kamala Khan. You kept failing, but you kept making it, and finally the money's run out. Us poors are supposed to feel bad after watching you waste billions? You are an unworthy target for our piss, which we could get more money for than you could with these shitty feminist movies. And if you don't like it, you must be racist, right? You must be sexist, a transphobe. Why do you even care? Why do you care that I care? This mattered to us way longer than it will to you, freshman. Less experience and less talent, but y'all think y'all know something and y'all calling shots. You know how often I see communities erected, specifically trying to get away from these woke trans people and the T's are dragging the LGBs down. And Chappelle was a villain because he said it like it is. So they let actual bigots adapt because they cannot create. And they literally race swap and gender swap everybody lazily. And if that wasn't enough, they deliberately chose what they considered ugly people and shrugged off putting any effort into writing, but now we're supposed to care. What? Half you hoes can't manipulate your way into a relationship happy enough to not be crying ten times a fucking week, but you thought that you could manipulate audiences smarter than you into watching your noise? The least that these woke designers could have done is flush the toilet after they've had a shit. But you're too busy commenting how the, the accent is offensive and that's appropriation. Jesus Christ, shut up. My videos are all limited and take over a week to review, so your likes really do extend their reach and I thank you. Comment or correct me below. We can love what these things used to be and let the current iteration of it burn if it's what Hollywood is trying to force it to be. Dog-faced liars like Kevin Smith and Bob Iger jump up and deceive with advertisements of a product one way, only for it to be another way. They're jumping down the throats of people telling the truth, only for them to be right. 
about your woke, instantly cancelled trash. So now, I'm supposed to watch actors say, And we know who said that. And where he fucking lives. To Bob Iger, yet not be allowed to share my feelings because, oh, that's naughty and not allowed on the internet. I'm not making any threats. I'm just talking. But I guess that's too much. Gotta suppress that. That's not the message that we want out there. You're deliberately harming downgrading, reducing, and deconstructing, dismantling what works. This is your square wheel that you're trying to push and you'll be trying to push because it doesn't work. Beta tester, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know you. We didn't need to verbally communicate, but we all collectively disengaged from this garbage probably years ago. And, and even the normies are exhausted of this now. It's not fatigue. Bob Iger is like, oh, it's the humidity. That's why the parks are empty. It's disgust. With every form of entertainment being used as a forced platform, disgust. For hyper-political messages about identity, disgust. And listen, it could have worked. If the people writing and crafting these messages had any charm, talent, wit, experience, the list goes on, but to say it plainly, these bitches get no dick, these niggas get no pussy, and many of them are paid $5,000, $7,000 a week to preach this stale, throwaway message, to have us rolling our eyes because people were laughing at this decades ago, but they were never so brain damaged that they thought that that would fly on the backs of whom they have designated ugly what's your alibi if that's not funny enough listener gal gadot is reportedly pissed that she spent hours in makeup multiple times before her scenes only for disney to now decide that that would be a little bit too scary for the kids so they gotta tone it down you know soften it sanitize it because we wouldn't want kids scared of what most of the groomers look like would we transparent disgusting disney you don't know what you're doing to me. <laughs> Politics aside, your stupidity is even more repulsive to me. Kids love to be grossed out. Slime made Nickelodeon. And gross to most is treasure to some. So you're toning down an ugly witch and dwarves are now creatures because that sounds better? Look at this gaggle of diverse bums on their way to go block the street and then whine when they get hit by a car, which I recognize is something that happened to the strikers and I am not drawing a comparison. And then I pause for a little bit, you know what I mean? Anyway, fumble, right? If you couldn't capitalize on what people desire, manga, anime, and Eastern developers will. Oh my god. You know what else doesn't have this problem? Mario. The Mario movie didn't go overboard at all. It's almost like they cared about their brand. That's crazy, right? Can you imagine something like that? It's not the Easter eggs that make these movies. It's paying respect to the legacy of the property that you are handling. Disney inspires disgust. And not the good, lucrative kind of disgust either, because hell yeah, Meat Canyon, there is a market for that. Politicians and corrupt cops, at the very least, understand to whisper the kid diddling part, but you're proudly proclaiming from the rooftops your intent to indoctrinate impressionable children with so shameless and stubborn an approach that even when caught, you are claiming you're on the right side of history. Disney. You have made quite the worm-filled bed for your dirt nap, and we'll gladly help shovel until you are fully covered. You can stop digging now. It's up to the rest of the entertainment industry to decide if Disney is a guide on how they should lose everything that they have or if it's a lesson and an eye-opener. The videos with articulate nerd consultation that I've seen have high production value and are fairly entertaining. These people will lap the industry while they're spending time squabbling on how next to disappoint people. This is it. And it's glorious. I love you. 
Thank you for liking. You're really pushing this up and out. All my videos are like limited ads, limited this, limited that. Oh, we're, we're gonna hit your reach. It's like, okay, okay, fine. I just I just want to talk. That's all I want to say. I thought this was YouTube, like me. Oh, it's, it's them tube. It's they. Ooh, you know what I mean? I love you. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. I feel like I'm talking your ear off, and I have so much more to say, and I never get anywhere. It's because this matters. You are making people tense. You're making the world a worse place. It's 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 almost deliberate. It's like it's a psyop to rile people up and see how crazy they can go. You know what I mean? But you know, take away the entertainment, take away the comedy, because we can't laugh, and see where it'll get you, man. The actors can say shit like that, though, right? Talking about, oh, we know where you. But look what you've taken from these people. And I'm not going to say anything more because I can't say anything more on these platforms. Oh, it's the end of the world. You know what I mean? Did he say the boo-boo word too many times? Oh, jeez. Fuck, man. Love you. See you later. <laughs> it's okay for y'all, but it's not for us. It's okay for you, but it's not for us.